Ray Dalio's recent warning about an impending U.S. debt crisis has set financial markets in a slight panic. In the wake of significant shifts in bond yields, the founder of Bridgewater Associates foresees a critical inflection point for the nation's economy. As bond yields fluctuate and the delicate balance between inflation rates and real interest rates comes into focus, the question now is, are we on the brink of a financial downturn that could reshape the economic landscape? You have a change of 50, 25 basis points and so on. Well, let, let's just go back to the basics and, and the big picture. First of all, um, let's take the bond yield. The bond yield, it, roughly speaking, has got to be um, about what we determine the expected inflation rate will be over um, the period of time. That, that's, there's, of course, there's a question about that. That number it probably is settling into the vicinity of three, three and a half percent. That's the right number. First of all, we need to understand how bond yields are intricately tied to expected inflation rates. In economic terms, bond yields essentially reflect the compensation investors demand for the anticipated erosion of their purchasing power due to inflation. When inflation is on the horizon, investors seek higher yields to offset the diminishing value of their returns. This fundamental relationship sets the stage for the constant interplay between inflation expectations and bond yields. Now, consider the settling inflation rate, a crucial factor in determining bond yields. In his analysis, Ray Dalio points out that the inflation rate has a pivotal role in shaping the yields investors demand. As the economy evolves, the settling inflation rate becomes a key reference point. Dalio's observations indicate that the inflation rate is stabilizing within 3 to 3 and a half percent. This significant stabilization lays the groundwork for understanding the broader economic landscape. Dalio adds another layer to the discussion by shedding light on the real interest rate required to provide a return to debt holders. This real interest rate is the yield on bonds after factoring in inflation. Dalio's insight is crucial. The real interest rate must surpass the expected inflation rate to ensure debt holders receive a meaningful return on their investments. This nuanced understanding highlights the delicate equilibrium needed for a healthy economic environment. Now, let's talk about the critical range of interest rates, hovering around 4.5 to 5%. Dalio's analysis suggests that this range is essential for maintaining stability. If the interest rates fall below this range, there's a risk that debt holders might not receive adequate returns, potentially leading to economic challenges. On the other hand, if rates surpass this critical range, it could exert undue pressure on borrowers, affecting spending and investment patterns. Another aspect Ray Dalio emphasizes is the critical relationship between supply and demand in the bond market, particularly given the government's substantial need to sell bonds. This dynamic is fundamental. As the government issues bonds to raise funds, the market's response is shaped by the collective forces of supply and demand. The sheer scale of government debt issuance makes this a pivotal factor in economic stability. However, Dalio highlights the potential for bondholders to experience losses, especially when supply surpasses demand. As the government issues more bonds to cover deficits, the risk of bond prices declining and investors facing losses becomes more pronounced. This scenario poses challenges not only for individual investors, but also for the broader financial ecosystem. The repercussions of an imbalance in supply and demand extend beyond the bond market. The overall economy is intricately linked to the health of the bond market, and any disruption can have cascading effects. If demand falters or supply overwhelms, the resulting imbalance can increase volatility and uncertainty in financial markets. This, in turn, can impact borrowing costs, investment decisions, and overall economic stability. Moreover, the injection of government stimulus checks into households and businesses was pivotal in providing an initial boost to the economy. As funds flowed into the hands of consumers and businesses, spending and investment received a timely stimulus. However, this surge is now encountering headwinds due to the gradual economic weakening attributed to rising interest rates. Dalio highlights a nuanced challenge emerging on the economic horizon, which is the invasion of debt service on spending. Initially fueled by the economic boost, this encroachment poses a considerable threat as rising interest rates gradually tighten financial conditions. Businesses and households, once buoyed by stimulus measures, now face the squeeze of debt service obligations, impacting their capacity to sustain spending levels. This delicate balance between economic elements reaches a critical juncture, termed by Dalio as an inflection point. At this juncture, the challenges intensify, setting the stage for potential economic shifts. It marks a crucial moment where the impact of rising interest rates and the encroachment of debt service converge, creating an environment ripe for economic challenges. Dalio's predictions add another layer to the discussion, suggesting a likely stability in interest rates, perhaps slightly lower. 
This forecast hinges on various factors, with the supply-demand question playing a central role. But before we continue, we want to thank you for watching this far. Now, did you know that adding debt faster than income growth is a critical issue on the economic forefront? Ray Dalio stresses this as a fundamental challenge, emphasizing the repercussions of an unsustainable financial trajectory. The acceleration of this debt problem is not just a theoretical concern, it has tangible consequences for both individuals and the broader economy. As this debt dilemma intensifies, political and social conflicts come into play, exacerbating an already delicate situation. Dalio points out that these conflicts act as catalysts, amplifying economic challenges. The internal strife further complicates the already intricate task of managing a growing debt burden, creating a web of interconnected issues that demand attention. Adding to the complexity is the concern about foreign demand for U.S. debt. Approximately 40% of U.S. Treasuries are sold to foreigners, making their demand significant. However, recent data indicates a decline in foreign holdings, particularly by major players like China. This shift raises red flags, signaling potential challenges in maintaining the necessary demand to support the growing U.S. debt. Dalio also talked about the U.S. Treasury facing a concerning decline in foreign buyers, a red flag he cautions against. Current data on foreign holdings of U.S. government debt indicates a $253 billion drop, with China notably reducing its holdings by 17%. This shift in foreign demand, particularly from major players like China, compounds the supply-demand challenge in the bond market. In light of these developments, Dalio explicitly states that the U.S. is heading towards a debt crisis. The speed of this crisis is intricately tied to the supply-demand issue. If foreign demand continues to wane, the crisis could escalate rapidly. The current U.S. debt levels, which surged by 45% since the COVID pandemic, stand at a staggering $33.7 trillion. Failure to address this mounting crisis could have profound consequences. The ripple effects of a debt crisis extend beyond the financial markets. Broader economic implications come into play, raising concerns about growth slowing down to zero or near that level. This potential economic downturn isn't just an abstract worry. It translates into real challenges for businesses, households, and the overall economic fabric. The rising debt burden also intersects with challenges in Congress. The need for bipartisan cooperation and forward-looking leadership becomes imperative to navigate the complex terrain of fiscal policies and debt management. Without such cooperation, the nation is not adequately equipped to address the impending economic challenges. In conclusion, the urgency to address the looming debt crisis is clear. The statistics on foreign holdings, China's reduction, escalating debt levels, and potential consequences underscore the gravity of the situation. Concerns about economic implications and the connection between rising debt and challenges in Congress highlight the need for swift and collaborative action. So do you think policymakers will rise to the occasion and steer the nation towards economic resilience? Share your insights in the comments section below. And don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more updates and other investment insights. Additionally, if you want to know more about what's happening in the U.S. right now, just click this video right here. Thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for more exciting content in the future.